What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So one of the things I was thinking I would do, I've never done this before, I don't know why, uh, on the fountain pen side of life is give you a, probably maybe a couple of times a month, because I don't uh, keep all of my pens inked up, obviously, that's kind of hard to manage and etc. So we're just going to give you a couple of times a month uh, some of the inks that I have currently inked up and then they will probably change out and things will change. And of course I'll get new pens and we'll try various stuff. So I've got four right now that are inked up, uh, A5 notebook that I showed you the review on earlier. So what we'll do is we'll just go through quickly what they are and then I'll show you more specifically why I like them and what I'm using them for, etc. And then uh, I'll just give you a quick scribble with each one of them so you can see what the inks look like and we'll tell you what the inks are. I'll leave a link to as many of the things that I can find in the description below uh, so that if you like these inks or you like these pens or etc., uh, that you could go get them for yourself. So yeah, some of the links help out the channel, some of them don't, doesn't matter. I just want you to know about it so that you can go and get what you want. All right, so uh, let's see. First things first, we have a Heinz Pen Company pen. Uh, this is a very interesting uh, maker pen out of Texas, I believe. So we'll get into that in a moment. Next, we have a Franklin Christoph Model 46 in Olive. Next, we have a Sailor Pro Gear in Imperial Black. And finally, we have a month, uh, Franklin Christoph model number 45 in Salmon Glow Matte. So it's a matte finish, it's a pocket pen, it's also obviously very small. So those are what I am carrying with me um, right now. And then this has kind of been my daily take notes book. This is a Maraman Mnemosyne uh, A5 five millimeter dot grid. This is what I've been using. We're gonna use Rhodia for the ink samples because that seems to be a pretty good standard. Let's go ahead and get that stuff out of the way. And uh, let's go ahead and give you some writing samples. I'll tell you what, we'll do it in order of appearance. How about that? So this is a very interesting pen. This is a uh, Heinz Pen Company uh, pen. It is huge. It's very, very large. Uh, it's got the bronze clip. I really like the finial on it. Um, we've not done like full reviews on any of this stuff. I got this at the Atlanta Pen Show. Um, I can't remember what the name of this um, resin is called, but it's supposed to look like the Earth from space, which obviously it does, right? Pretty cool. Or maybe it looks supposed to look like trees. I don't, forest something, I can't remember. I'm really bad about that. Uh, anyway, this is a really, really cool pen. It is huge. It is a cartridge converter pen. Um, when you post it, it is absolutely massive, <laughs> but I do post it because I just think it's ridiculous. It's got a number six Yovo nib with a 1.1 uh, millimeter stub. So this is absolutely super, super fun to write with. Um, really fun to write with. So this is a Heinz Pen Company. And this is a 1.1 millimeter stub by Yovo. And the ink that is in here, I think, is Diamine Holly. After our uh, live ink swatch um, that we did the other night, I was like, oh, I really like that. So um, let me give you some color to look at here. This is a really pretty ink. Um, when it builds up, it's got a little bit of sheen to it. Yeah, it's a super, super cool color. And I, I just really like it. I think it's, it's a really nice color. Um, I, it's funny that I do like to write with a stub. Um, I write with a stub quite often, actually. Um, it, they're smooth feeling, even though they don't have tipping because, you know, a stub does not have, um, the normal kind of tipping, it's just all steel, or this particular one is. Um, but yeah, it does go through a lot of ink quickly though. Uh, this pen will not last me a month. 
Uh, if I'm trying to keep everything inked up for a month, this pen will not last me for a month because you will go through some serious, serious ink. Next, we have the Franklin Christoph Model 46. Now, I believe they just uh, revised all of these and sold out of the last ones or whatever. It says Franklin Christoph right here, Model 46. Um, it's made out of an acrylic. Uh, this pen is eyedroppered, so there's no converter, there's no cartridge in here. I just fill the body of the pen up with ink, and there's silicone grease right here so that you don't drip ink all over the place. Um, I really like their block threads. The, blo the threads seem kind of wiggly, but the reason they do that is because when you let the, when you uncap the pen, see already ink or air can get in there so the ink doesn't burp or anything, especially when you're doing an eyedropper situation. This has one of the um, Audrey Madison stub italic, it's called a sig nib. You can see it's very square on the end like a stub but it is cut a weird angle on the end of it. So this is called a stub italic gradient. Uh, and this is a Yovo nib as well, but it's made um, ground to spec at Franklin Christoph. Um, this is a great pen. Uh, this has been probably my number one writer um, for some time since I got it actually. I love it a lot, um, and I've eyedroppered it the whole time. So this is a SIG, Stub Italic Gradient, I believe that's what it's called, in a medium. You can get them finer too. I have a, another Franklin Christoph um, with a finer one. This ink is Sailor, okay, I need to know, remember how to spell this. Takiwa Matsu. And the cool part about this ink is it is got a little bit of sheen to it too. It goes down real dark. This stub metallic gradient, you got to go the other way. If you go this way, it's very thin. If you go this way, it's thicker. So it gives you that kind of nice line variation. Um, but you'll see, uh, we'll look at the inks after because I want to let them dry. Uh, but this, this pen is something that I, I really, 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 really like this pen a lot. This has uh, been one of my main writers since I, since I picked it up. This is an interesting one. This is a Sailor Pro Gear. I got this pen, uh, I ordered it straight from Japan. This is in Imperial Black. So this is a Sailor Pro Gear, but ev all of the hardware and stuff, whoops, is all black. Um, even, the iridium, whatever they, I don't remember what they call this plating on this tip, but this is a 21 karat gold um, medium fine nib, and there is something about a sailor. I don't know if you'll be able to hear it when I write with it, but man, even the sound, it just feels like you're writing on velvet the entire time. What is this? The Sailor Pro Gear. I'm like totally blanking. Uh, it's a medium fine nib. I can't write, apparently. This color is super cool. Um, and it is Sailor. Shikiori Shigure, I think that's how you spell it. Um, what I love about this ink is that it looks green blue, but there's some red sheen in there. And so there's some purple going on as that dries, you'll see. Um, but what I was telling you, I don't know if you can hear it in the microphone or not. It just feels like you're writing almost with a felt tip pen, but smoother. Um, sailor nibs are a little bit more, they, they say that they've got a little more feedback. I don't feel like it's, it, it's definitely not scratchy. It's super, super, super smooth, but it's not glassy, greasy, like a pilot. 
Um, what a what a name, cool. What a cool pen. Uh, Imperial Black, that's what they call this. This is the Sailor Pro Gear Imperial Black. So I guess this should have like a Darth Vader theme song. This is one of my favorite pens, probably top five of all time. All right, this is a Franklin Christoph number 45. Now the difference between the 45 and the 46, there's a couple things. They look very, very similar, but you can obviously see that this one is smaller. Uh, let me get you in the shot there, smaller. Uh, the diameter is very similar, but a little bit smaller. And um, the big thing though is the nib size. So the number 45 has a number five size Yovo nib and the 46 has a number six size Yovo nib. Um, what that gives you is a little bit more distance from the paper. So you'll find that your hand is at a little bit different angle if you have a physically smaller nib. So if you're not comfortable with a small nib, then you go with something like this. The thing is, is that this pen is small enough to pocket. So you can put this in your pocket and you can basically go anywhere, do anything, throw it in your pocket. Now the downside to this for some folks is that it's so short that a converter does not fit in here. So you either have to use a cartridge, a short international cartridge, or as I have here, I, you eye drop it. And uh, so this is, but this pen is phenomenal. This, I love this thing. Um, this nib is so good. Franklin Christoph nibs are just, you know, they're Yovos, but whatever they do to them, however they tune them there, you know, whatever. Um, it's just, they're so freaking good, man. I love this thing. This is a medium nib. And as you can see, it is very wet. This is Pilot Aroshizuku uh, Yamabudu, I think. Yama Budo. And this ink is also very fun. It's pink, sort of like a magenta and then it dries a little darker than that. So I like inks that really kind of like play around as you, as you use them. I like them how they change a little bit, um, super fun. Yeah, this pen is really cool. So uh, going backwards, I guess, let's do this and I'll show you the inks again. So going backwards, we've got the Franklin Christoph number 45, model 45, we got the Sailor Pro Gear, We've got the uh, Franklin Christoph 46, and then the massively massive, barely fits in the shot or doesn't really fit in the shot, Heinz Pen Company. Super fun. Four different sizes, four different types of nibs. That's one of the things I like to do when I ink up pens is have a few different nibs going so that I can, you know, I'll pick up a pen, not necessarily for the color sometimes, maybe for the color sometimes, but mostly because I want to write with a particular size of nib. So when I ink up a few, um, that's what I do. I try to get a cross section so that I can kind of cover everything. Uh, let's go ahead and show you these inks real quick. Um, so the Diamine Holly, super bright, fun. Uh, the Franklin Christoph with the uh, Takiwamatsu Sailor ink in it. The reason I did it is because I really wanted like that olive color. And I think I pulled that off pretty well. It makes pretty good sense. Now this is that Sailor Shikiori Shigure. See how it's blue, but then you get some of these other little darknesses and there's some purpley going on and it shades a bunch of different colors. It's just a super fun ink to write with. And it does sheen a little bit. I can't really show you in this light, but it does sheen a little bit red, which is really cool. And of course the Franklin Christoph Model 45, uh, phenomenal, phenomenal pen. Excellent, excellent pen. Uh, my four inked up pens. We'll probably do this again in a couple of weeks because I'll write with these for a few weeks and then maybe I'll switch some of them out. Maybe I won't. Maybe one of them is going to be cool and it's going to get carried over into the next one. Maybe we'll change out some ink colors. I'm not really sure, but I wanted to share these with you. Uh, thanks for hanging out. 
and we will see you in the next video. Oh yeah, a large number of you are not subscribed. If you like nerdy stuff like this, there's plenty more where this is coming from. So subscribe. We'll see you.